Uh, hi, welcome back. Uh, Simon again. Vinny, again. Vinny here. Vinny again. Um, real quick, I want to talk about that uh, transition song there you heard. That's uh, one of our old songs from when we were in high school. Which one is it again? That is More by Shady Living. More. There we go. Am I close enough to the mic? There we go. Uh, <laughs> if you don't like that song, tell us in the comment below. But only a comment on the second video, not the first one. <laughs> don't bug me here. Uh, and we'll try and f we got a whole we got like three four or five albums and two official albums. <laughs> yeah, there's like some some B sides. We some got bootlegs. tons of incidental music we can use. That scream you're hearing is Will Hooper, uh, the man who is six three and not with us. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're back. Uh, I know you were worried, but we're here. And uh, I got another current event for you. This time I'm gonna pose one to Vinny. One that, uh, this was uh, last week, uh, we were going to do this last week, our first podcast, but the power went out. So I don't know how current this is anymore. <laughs> it might be completely just not happening, but they were talking about a nationwide ban on cell phone while driving. Hmm. How do you feel? I think it's a good idea, really, because if you drive down the highway and you look next to you, everyone's like talking on a cell phone, they're texting, no one's actually driving. <laughs> well, know? they're all driving. They're just also doing other stuff. Yeah, but like most people aren't that good at doing other stuff. Like maybe like younger people. I feel like people our age, they've had cell phones since they've been driving. It's okay. But then yeah. you get people who are like 40 or 50 <laughs> and it's like new to them and they're swerving around and they can't like <laughs> control the vehicle and text message. So you think like maybe only you can you can get a driver's license and you can get a driving while talking license if you take the test while on your cell phone <laughs> yeah i think maybe if you only the people young and and able to to control themselves while yeah, doing that yeah if you if you could prove that you could handle <laughs> the situation while you're talking on a cell phone or yeah. texting or whatever then it's okay i think it should be <laughs> legal like well, a different that, permit <laughs> different permit you can, yeah uh well i mean you're looking at it as you know you want to stop the other people from talking and driving but do you ever talk on your phone while driving i do talk on my phone but i don't text and drive because i know i can't do it yeah that's too much for me too i mean that's that's a lot of concentration on texting because i'm bad at that yeah because even though i did have a phone when i was driving i haven't had a phone that was in a texting plan since like a few years ago so i'm not as proficient with that i missed the boat yeah, I don't really, I don't really text at all. But you're so saying if, if somebody is good enough at it, they should be able to drive while doing it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the people that are skilled at this type of thing should be punished <laughs> for being able to do it. Well, then why don't we just have it how it is, and you can do it? But if you, if you mess up and you clearly you're having a problem, then you get pulled over and. You... Yeah, I mean, I guess that <laughs> makes sense more than the permit or anything, and really. I think I'm more against making new laws about things that don't really need laws made against them. It's more of a, uh, you know, if you were messing up, you're going to get pulled over. For All right, it. There you go. Vinny is against new laws. Yep. Laws no of fair laws. business. The model Republican right here, Vinny Furman. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I, I don't know, because sometimes you're, you're driving and you get a call and you want to know what it is. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't think... I don't what, like if, what if you're driving to somewhere, you're driving to your, your parents' house and your parents call and say, oh, we both died. <laughs> and then you're like, well, I don't have to drive here anymore, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think... turn around. <laughs> you need that information. I don't know if it's better with those cars. They have those fancier cars where they're like the speakers and your phone comes through them. <laughs> it's, not, like, it's not a car. Yeah, you it's like the, uh, speaker my, phone on it. Earlier today, my, my girlfriend uh, has a new iPhone and it was plugged in so we could put, hear her Pandora. And it, you can get that. You can get the speaker. You can get the call coming through on the speakers. And she has a, a crappy old milk car. I think it's a Taurus, Ford Taurus. <laughs> this is not a fancy car, it's a fancy phone. Yeah. And just like a hookup. So you're you're for that. You're or wait, you're you're against a new law. I'm against the new law. I think people should maybe just be a little uh either practice doing it more <laughs> or uh not do it, you know. I think you need to know your limitations when it comes to using your cell phone and driving. <laughs> I think the idea of practicing <laughs> yeah. get on a closed course with your phone and just yeah or you know put, put just, in 50 hours of talking on your phone while driving <laughs> yeah or just like you know just drive down the freeway but don't go that far you know <laughs> just go like to the next town don't you don't yeah, need to yeah. go like drive in like 30 cross, minutes cross country yeah stuff. no just a little 10 minute drive just build up to it <laughs> oh there you go. oh man well let's talk about that a little more 
<laughs> gets more time. How, how do you feel about it? How do I feel? Yeah, I, feel I talk on my it? phone while driving, but very rarely because I very rarely get call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I only talk to th- you know, four or five people on my phone anyways. And they very rarely talk to me. So that's on you, Vinny. <laughs> yeah. call, call me more while I'm driving and I'll have a better opinion about it. Yeah, I don't, is, do you ever find it disruptive? Like maybe you just got your got good vibe um, going on, listen to the radio, you know? I'll, t- I'll tell you what, I've been in a few accidents. And uh, the the first time I was in, I was in a th- uh, two car, three car accident. I crashed into another car, into another car. Because I had just found out, this was when I was in high school, just started driving. I found out that if you if you look fast enough, you can see the people in the cars coming at you. <laughs> you can make out their faces. <laughs> and I was blasting techno and really into it and like, oh my god, that's that person. Oh, look, I know that person. And then just bam, right into another car. So I know, I know distracted driving, uh, you know, you can be distracted, sure. What was the question? <laughs> uh, just how you felt about about using the cell phone and driving. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and sometimes I, I do have music going, and uh, I'm smoking a cigarette, and a phone, a call comes in, and it's like, oh, I only got two hands, but I don't want to miss this call, so I pick it up, and you know, I go slower, start going the speed limit instead of five over, you know. Yeah, yeah, I get kind of excited if I get a call, you know. Right, you know, you, you very rarely get calls, you know. You want to, <laughs> you know, you want to pick it up as soon as it comes in. Yeah. Uh, I know. <laughs> there's people who pull over to the side of the road when they get a call i think your mom <laughs> i don't want to i want to make it personal but your mom i know yeah she she probably does it's for the best because she can't really drive oh well, yeah, yeah but, but I, uh you know yeah i know one time i pulled over to adjust my gps and a cop a cop came up to me yeah and they, and didn't, asked, they didn't like you being pulled yeah, over no they didn't like me pulling over for doing that so i don't really know it's kind of mixed damned if you do damned if you yeah. don't <laughs> classic um <laughs> well i guess uh that'll wrap it up for the current events uh, our next segment is a commercial review because uh, as a filmmaker and as a commercial maker to be i guess i don't know me and my buddy got this company we're, we're making commercials if you need a commercial you know let me know leave a comment below i guess <laughs> <laughs> if, if you don't need a commercial leave a comment below anyways you know uh, but uh, we have a, co- a company making uh, commercials and you know and you know training videos stuff like that you know kind of industrial work. Uh, only with light, it's the website onlywithlight.com. Little plug there. Uh, but yeah, as a commercial remaker, I feel qualified to review commercials I see and national commercials. They you know they need to be taken down a peg, I guess, because they, they try and get away with so much shit, you know. <laughs>